What are some specific ethical standards are expected from, say, public servants as, as you are raising the issues here? I think the issue of ethics has been very, very important, and indeed, uh, we may not fully know that in Ghana, we've got a constitutional commission whose core function it is to make sure that we've got the guidelines, the necessary things in terms of ethics and conduct. Uh, Shraj, a constitutional commission is mandated to ensure that as a society, as a public sector, the proper conduct is maintained. And so they, over the years, have come out with some areas for us to look at. When we talk about conduct, and indeed there's a, a code of conduct, a generic code of conduct that was developed by Shraj, and at the time it came out, all public organizations were entreated and actually mandated, not merely entreated, but mandated to pick that generic code and develop their own individual organizational codes. A number of organizations have done that. And so you'll find in the code of conduct, the generic code, for example, uh, sets out and tells us who a public officer is. Who are we when we say you're a public officer? And I mean, it's, a, a, uh, it's coming out of the Constitution. So there are legal frames that tells us who a public officer is. What is the function of the public officer? And what is expected of the public officer? Now, um, public officers, we are to note and know that indeed we're there to serve the public, period. We're not there to serve our own individual goals and, and aspirations, but rather we are there to serve. And, and I underline the word serve, sometimes we forget. We're not there as masters, we're not there as bosses, but rather we're there as servants to the public interest. And again, if we are to serve the public interest, there are some things that we need to assure and, and make sure we practice good conduct. And what are some of those things that we expect? Things like integrity. And we hear a lot about the term integrity. What does it mean? A public officer who doesn't have integrity, and we, it's not just a public officer, but when we look at society as a whole, a society that doesn't have men and women of integrity, uh, I think it, you agree, Reverend, that it will be very, very difficult for that society to function and function well. We also, uh, as part of the, the conduct that is expected, things like honesty, respect for the people you're supposed to be serving, respect for not just your bosses, but respect for each other. Because if you respect each other, then the way we treat each other and the way we work together will actually show it and manifest it. Now, other things like uh, confidentiality are important for a public officer because, again, in today's world, I think you agree with me, all too often we see public items, things which really are confidential, being put out there in the public interest. A public officer has to be reminded at all times that indeed confidentiality, unless you have the authority to disclose some information that comes before you, unless you've been given the permission to actually put certain information into the public domain, you have no right whatsoever to, to actually engage anybody, not my brother, not my father, not my husband. Things which have been put before me as a result of the position that I'm holding. And so I think that's one of the areas that public officers, I think, of today.